having a baby. Yeah, she's having a baby. But we live in different states and our friends live, well, on the internet around the world. So in order to, you know, have a celebration for my mama to be, I had to host an online shower. And let me just tell you, I was terrified. I mean, I host posh parties online for a living. How much different could a baby shower be? It's not much different as it turns out, but I was terrified. I wanted it to be fun, unique, and above all, not tacky. That was my main concern. <laughs> but considering that so many of us currently can't gather anyway, I thought I'd share how and what I did with you guys to make it a little less daunting if you too have a mama-to-be that you need to shower or sprinkle with love. So it was really important to me that our guests knew that this event was to come celebrate Alyssa, her pregnancy, and the baby-to-be. It was not a solicitation for gifts. It was also important to me to make it special for Alyssa, so it was like a semi-surprise. She knew I was gonna be putting together an online event, but she didn't know when. So if you're still with me and you wanna know exactly how I put together the event, keep watching and stay tuned until the end because I'm gonna give you tips on things that I wish I would have thought of before I hosted mine. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to do is create a private Facebook event and make a cover photo. So what I did is I took all of her little bump update pictures that she had been sharing over the course of her pregnancy and I used an app called Pick Stitch and I collaged all the photos like in a row so we could kind of see the progression of the bump. I then used an app called Pix Art to kind of overlay the words and I put it's the final countdown. And I called the event it's the final countdown because we are in the final weeks before our little baby brownie arrives. Now, before inviting anyone, you want to have the cover photo done and you want to post the description of the event. Here's a screenshot of the description that I posted in our event. This is the place that you want to put any registry links. That way it's available for anyone to access, but it's not posted like in the main event feed, i.e. being tacky in my opinion. Okay, you've created the group, you've created the cover photo, you've written the description, you have one more step to do before we invite the people. You want to post a welcome slash icebreaker post. So what I did was I asked our guests to share their most favorite or fun memory with the mom-to-be. That way, when the time comes to invite your guest of honor, she's not only going to be surprised with all of these friends in this event wanting to celebrate her, but she's also going to have a nice little happy walk down memory lane as well. I am a hand talker, huh? <laughs> okay, once you've created the group and you've made all of those posts, now you invite the people. So what I did was I posted publicly, like changed it to global on Facebook, to let friends and family know that I was hosting a surprise shower. I was able to block Alyssa from that post so that she wasn't able to see it. So again, she still didn't know. And here's a screenshot of the actual post that I made. Now I was worried about forgetting someone, so I took that stress right off my back by putting it out there and making it an open invitation. Okay, then a few hours later I would go ahead and comment in the invitation thread to remind our guests to go over and participate in the welcome memory post. One more post before you add your guest of honor. What I went with was baby name suggestions. Now we all know whatever name mama picks is going to be best, but it's still fun to have your guests throw ideas out there anyway. Now. After that, 24 hours later, now I did do a couple reminders to our guests to make sure they participated in the post because Alyssa was going to be added. Again, 24 hours later, after a couple of reminders, I invited Alyssa, our guest of honor. And like I mentioned, she arrived to a flood of wonderful memories and a bunch of names that she could peruse. She was so excited and it was really special. From there, my job got a little easier because I was able to ask her for specific pictures that I wanted to go along with my post ideas. Now your job's gonna be even easier because you can take notes from this video. <laughs> Some of the sample posts that I used in our event was, um, what is one thing that you suggest that mama should do for herself before her baby arrives? Alyssa loves memes, so I had posted a really funny picture of her that I grabbed off her Facebook and asked our guests to meme it, and that was actually really funny. It was like a really surprised face, so <laughs> you can imagine the mom humor. Another post was I asked guests, to provide one piece of advice she should know, and also one must-have item that, in their opinion, she needs to have. Alyssa even made her own post seeking postpartum tips and product recommendations. She got so much great info, and it's all written down on the internet so she can even refer back to it in the future. 
I asked our guests to help her build her birthing playlists with or playlists. She probably only needed one. And of course, as gifts arrived, she posted pics and thank yous in the feed as well. This was something that super overwhelmed me at first. I didn't know what kind of games I should play. But don't worry, I got you. Oh, and I'll tell you about the ideas that I wished I had thought of before after I tell you about the games. Okay, so the first one took on an extra level of humor, if you will, last week when things got a little wild because, yeah, it involves toilet paper. <laughs> so you want to have your mama to be measure around her belly using toilet paper and take pics while she's doing it. Then you're going to have your guests guess how many squares of toilet paper around she is. My mama to be was 11 squares around, but it was really funny that some people guessed like 25. <laughs> okay, and game number two was a baby bucket list. So guests just commented one thing that they thought mama should not forget to do during the first year of motherhood. Things like um, places that she should visit, activities to do, moments to capture, any kind of suggestion. And then you can have your guest of honor pick her favorite, or what we did was just choose a winner at random. Now, the last day of the event, I had my mama-to-be go live with a big thank you and a nursery tour. I thought that our event went so well, and now that it's over, it really wasn't that hard to pull off. My bestie got a ton of things that she needed, but most of all really felt the love from afar. And while we couldn't be with her to celebrate, we still got to bring the celebration to her. Now, with enough advance notice, you could even take it a step further than I did and even send party favors out to your guests. I had the thought that it would be really fun if I printed a bunch of flat lissies, like a little head on a stick of the mom-to-be, and then mailed it out to our party guests so that they could all take a selfie with her. I thought that would be fun. Or even you could just send a file, like an electronic file, of the mom-to-be's face for them to print and create a little figurehead on a stick. I thought that would be cute. Um, you could send, like I said, party favors to all the guests, ask them to snap a selfie, and then put together a little selfie collage of your guests. What were some of my other ideas? Oh, you could send a little party supply box to your mom-to-be, or even better yet, link up with her significant other and coordinate the delivery of said supplies, maybe even some balloons or snacks or something like that. Um, you could have the mama save all the presents that come in and then go live and do a gift opening that way. It was easier on Alyssa to just open things as they arrive, but whatever works for you guys. That's it. I think that's all that I had to tell you guys about. Oh, I had the event run for two weeks. That way people could like pop in or out as they had time or inclination and no one was tied to a schedule. Um, and that's it. Okay, I wish you guys luck in your online shower planning. If you have any questions or ideas that I hadn't thought of, then post them down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and happy party planning!